My name is Amanda Burma. I'm with Frog Logic, and today I'm going to show you a new feature from Squish 5.1, our interactive debugging tool for helping to troubleshoot object not found errors. From the Squish IDE, I have a basic test script in which this particular line, line 14, will fail because it's not going to be able to find the object. From there, I'll walk you through the new interactive object not found tool that we have and how you would use that to help resolve any issues when you encounter an object not found error. Let's first begin. We'll run the script. And this is where it's not able to find the object. In our script, it's looking for an Add button, but in this case, this application has an OK button. Squish is trying to find the object, and if it's not able to find the object, it's going to throw an error. When it throws the error, this is an optional setting, so if you'd like this Object Not Found dialog to appear to help troubleshoot, you can enable it when, you have, when you're playing items back. Otherwise, you can set a setting in your Squish preferences to specify not to display this dialog, or you can simply check the box here. Now, the reason that this can be very helpful is previously you would be running a script, you'd encounter an error, you'd get the error, the same error, failed to find object, and some information about what happened that it couldn't match the properties. That, at that point, you would typically go back and set a breakpoint run to the breakpoint, and perhaps use the object picker or other approaches to try to determine why it couldn't find the object. Now with the object not found window, I'm able to see the object that it's trying to find, so the old value is what they're calling it right now. I can then choose whether or not I want to retry finding that object. Perhaps the object wasn't available yet. I can um, debug and simply go into the standard debugging mode which is what is displayed behind me. I can throw an error, simply returning the error to my results. Or I can come and pick a new object and see if that object that I want the script to find at this point has perhaps changed. So I'll select Pick New Object. I'm going to come over to my object that I'm interested in verifying or inspecting, select that object, and I'm return back to Squish again to this object not found dialog where it's illustrating the differences between the value that I have currently in my script or in my object map and the new value that it captured highlighting the differences and we can see that the caption between the old value and the new value has changed. By clicking retry at this point it would then update the object map for me and see if that particular change works. Should it not work this dialog would return again until I select throw error or click debug. So if we click retry here, we can see the script successfully found the object and my verification point below passed. Taking a look then at this particular object in the object map by simply right clicking and selecting open symbolic name, we can see the object and that the value has been updated from the original value encountered in the script. Visit froglogic.com to read more about Squish GUI Tester 5.1 features and evaluate Squish today.